Hey all. So today I'm just going to go over a few uh, options you have for budget uh, head tracking that I think works very effectively. This is what I use for Star Citizen. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to get into it here. So we're going to be using OpenTrack to feed uh, our the various inputs I'll be showing. Uh, the first one we're going to do to I'm going to show here is uh, using the native neural net tracker. Now that is a piece of software that comes with OpenTrack. If you look up at the OpenTrack window here, see where my uh, cursor is. You'll see right here we have the input selected to neural net tracker. I'm going to go ahead and start that up. So this is using a webcam. Now the webcam I have right now is a really crappy 30 FPS, I think 360p, maybe 720. Um, so you will see like it is not it's not gonna be quite the smoothest but I honestly find it serviceable for uh, Star Citizen here um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick demo here with this okay so we'll just show kind of you know I figure combat's the best way to just uh, give it a look here you might see me glance down like this that's me just looking at my physical instruments and I'm just gonna first show off here gaze tracking with uh, missiles so this is like probably one of the coolest things you can do is fire off missiles off of your nose by just using your gaze. And you see here, I can pretty smoothly track it with my crafty webcam. With a better webcam with better FPS, uh, higher resolution, you'll probably get better face tracking data. I can like nice thing about this yeah so we can pretty easily track our target when he goes outside of our uh, nose here again this is using probably a $30 webcam and the software that comes with open track here and this is also using linear curves so no adjustment to curve so my head translation is one-to-one -one in game The other thing I will note here is I've turned off all axes except for pitch and yaw on my head tracking. So what that's going to mean is I don't get roll, forward, back movement, etc, etc. Alright. Okay, so the next method is the one that I personally use that I'm going to demonstrate here. And this is going to be using the an app called uh, Head Tracker for iPhone. This is someone that a flight sim player uh, developed just to use in like DCS and stuff like this. So this is an iPhone app. Um, there are Android alternatives and I will put links to them in the description because I don't know them off the top of my head. Uh, now I personally use this uh, because the iPhone, uh, this app only works on, sorry, iPhone 10 and later. Uh, now I have an iPhone 10. They've got the really nice uh, front cameras that can track uh, facial data. So I really enjoy this one. I get a little bit more smoothness than my crappy webcam. Now this does broadcast over a network to do the connection. Um, as you see here, I don't personally notice any latency from my inputs to what I am seeing here, uh, but I have a really solid internet connection. So your mileage may vary there. And there are options that I'll go into the next one that transmit over USB using a phone camera instead of uh, instead of network but let's just go ahead and just do a quick demo of this uh, head tracking solution as well and uh, you'll see for my open track configuration over there uh, i'm using the udp over network option which is how we get uh, that info sent to open track which then star citizen can read so once our guys spawn in here we'll show off here's some missile tracking for you Again, gaze tracking. We got some friends too.
Okay, the final one I'm going to show you here, and uh, I'm just going to show this one outside a game, is so this is the third option. Uh, this is an iPhone app called iWear Beam. Uh, and now this is the same as the previous uh, kind of tracking I was using using my front iPhone camera, but this is a different application. Now, iWear, uh, you can do over network or over USB. I ended up using this on a business trip where I was on hotel Wi-Fi. So because of ports and stuff, I couldn't use the network uh, option of the previous app. So I found this one. Uh, so yeah, you can see there in the bottom right, uh, it's got a sil it doesn't use um, you c it'll send its inputs to open track, but it's also got its own uh, application it uses to track stuff. So you can see my eyes there, uh, pretty, again, quick, very smooth, uh, again, because we're using the iPhone camera here, uh, tracking. Now, the really cool thing about this application is that it also has pretty accurate eye tracking, which is wild because the current option is i'm looking center screen here now is and i guess when you blink it kind of goes off is toby um so that is a 300 dollar ish uh you know piece of hardware that you use for eye tracking now currently star citizen only supports eye tracking through toby but as it i wouldn't be surprised if uh we eventually got something where uh, we could use different apis for eye tracking so something to consider for this option as well. But again, the main draw here is that you can use this one uh, for head tracking on a wired connection. Uh, now, something to note, I wear, uh, this is the free version I'm using right now. Um, you can pay for it. It's a paid app. There's two different ways to pay for it. Uh, you either do um, a subscription, which I think is like three bucks, maybe five bucks a month. I just paid for a month of it when I was on a business trip. Um, and then, or you can pay a full price uh, on it, which I think is 60, which is a little steep for this piece of software. But for eye tracking, it's, I don't know, it's pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, so those are really all the options that I have come to use and I think work great for uh, head tracking in Star Citizen on without any special hardware.